hello hello በተለያየ ዓለም ክፍል የምትገኙ ኢትዮጵያን ወገኖቼ የከበረ ሰላም ታቀርብላችኋለሁ እንደምን አላችሁ ደናናችሁ እግዚአብሔር ስሙ የተመሰገነውን በጣም ደናነኝ በዛሬው እለት አሳሳቢ ሁኔታ ስላጋጠመኝ ወደናንተ ይዘው ቅርብ ያለው ይሄም ደግሞ የአሜሪካ መንግስት በኢትዮጵያ ህዝብና መንግስት ላይ ያቀደውን ማዕቀብ እንቃወማለን የሚል ነው እንግዲህ በዛሬው እለት በተለያዩ ኒውስ ሚዲያዎች እንደወጡት የአሜሪካ የአሜሪካ ሴኔተሮች ሴናተር ዩኤስ ሴኔተር ሲክ ፖሲቢል ሳንክሽን ኢትዮጵያን ሳንክሽን በኢትዮጵያ ላይ ማዕቀብ ለማድረግ በዛሬ ነው ዲሴምበር 10 2020 የወጣ ሮይተር ሮይተር ላይ የተዘገበ ዜና ነው እና የአቢ አህመድን መንግስትና የኢትዮጵያን حزب ማቀብ ለማድረግ የአሜሪካ ሁለት ሴናተሮች ሴናተር ቤን ካርድን ዲሞክራቲክ ፓርቲ ነው ሪፐብሊካን ጂም ጂም ሪች ጂም ሪች ደግሞ ቸርማን ኦፍ ሴኔት ኤንድ ፎሬን ሪሌሽን ኮሚቴ የአሜሪካ የሪፐብሊካን ፓርቲ ነው በጋራ የኢትዮጵያንን መንግስት በኢትዮጵያ حزب ላይ ማቀብ ለማድረግ የተነሱ መሆናቸውን በተለያዩ የዜና እንትኖች ስሰማ ውስጥ ኤን ስለ እንትን ስላለኝና ስለረበሽኝ እኛ ደግሞ የበኩላችን እንድንሐደርግ በተለይም ደግሞ በተለያየ የዓለም ክፍል ያላችሁ ኢትዮጵያውያን ዳያስፖራዎች ኢንፎርሜሽን እሰጣችኋለሁ እናንተም በመደወል ራሳችሁን የበኩላችሁን እንድትወጡና ይሄንን የአሜሪካ መንግስት ያቀደውንን የማዕቀብ በሙሉ በሙሉ የምንቃወም መሆናችን ማሳወቅ ከኢትዮጵያ መንግስትና ከኢትዮጵያ حزب ጋር ከካሳደገን ወልዶ ካሳደገን ከተንከባከበን መንግስትና حزب ጋር አብረን መቆም እንዳለብን በተለይም በአሜሪካ ያላችሁ ይሄንን ስልክ ቁጥር የምሰጣችሁን በመጠቀም እንድትደውሉ በዛሬው ለት እኔ ራሴ ከቤን ቺንን ላሳጥራት መሰለኝ እንትልባላት ይሄ ነው የሪጅናል ኦፊስ የቤን ካርደን ሴነራ ፔር ካርደን የ ዲሞክራቲክ ፓርቲ ነው ዌብሳይቱ ይውላችሁ www.card.senate.gov ኮንታክት ኢንፎርሜሽን ኦፊሱ ዛሬ ደው ያነጋግር ያለው ነው 202 224 45 224 የኦፊስ ነው እንደገና ሁለተኛ ስልክ ቁጥሩ ደግሞ ሁለተኛ ቁጥር 4190962 ኢነን በመደወል የምትቃወሙ ከኢትዮጵያ መንግስትና حزب ጋር የምትቆሙ መሆናችሁን በአሜሪካም ብንኖር ምክንያቱም እነሱ አሁን ደውየ ሳነጋገር ኦዲዮን ተሰማላችሁ we love ethiopian people ምናም ነው የሚሉት ኦኬ ከወደዱን ከጎናችን እንዲቆሙና ይሄንን የማቀብ የሚሉትን እንደገና በጦርነትና በመከረ የደቀቀችውን አገር በማቀብ እንት ለማድረግ ቡሊ ማድረግ የለ ተገቢ አይደለም ነገር ያቸዋል ነው ለራሴ ማንንም ቡሊ ሊያረጋው አይችልም የአሜሪካ حزب ችግር አለበት የመረጥናችሁ ለአሜሪካ حزب ነው ያሜሪካን ስራ ስሩ ስለ ኢትዮጵያ ለአገባችሁም ኢትዮጵያን ለኢትዮጵያ ኢትዮጵያን ጉዳይ ለኢትዮጵያን ተውት እና ይሄንን ነገር እንድታቆሙ ኢትዮጵያን حزب መታስፈራሩትና በኢትዮጵያ ላይ የምታረጉትን በደል እንድታቆሙ የሚል መረጃ በመጥቀስ እንትም በያለው የሁለተኛው ደግሞ ደውያ ያነጋገርኩት ጂምስ ጂም ሪች ነው የዚህ የሪፐብሊካን ነው ይሄ ደግሞ www.rich .senate.gov ይሄ ነው አድሬሱ ፎን ነምበሩ ደግሞ 2087346780 ፋክስ ነምበር 2087343905 ዋሽንግተን ዲሲ አድሬሱ ይሄ ነው መጻፍም ከፈለጋችሁ ይሄ ስልክ ቁጥሩ ይሄ ነው 2022242758 and then the fax number is there selezi manninyawum etiopiyawi etiopiya hizb gar qomallo yemil etiopiya neger emiyasasibaw yinen video share bemareg rasachu yinen chuqutrantin bemalet ke etiopiya hizb gar inditqomu 
የኢትዮጵያ ህዝብ ብዙ ችግር ነው ያለበት ብዙ ነው ችግሩ አሁን ትራምፕ የትራምፕ ሳፖርተር ነበርኩኝ ትራምፕን እንዲያውም እሱ እንዲመረጥ ከፍተኛ ትግል ማድረግ ነበር እንደምታውቁት ቪዲዮ አንድ ይሄን ዘሐጄ ከተጠርቼ ከነሱ ጋር የተነሳው ቪዲዮ ላይ አስቀምጨው ነበር ነገር ግን ግብጽን ምች ብሎ ሲል አሳፍሮኛል አሁንም ገልጨላችኋለሁ ትራምፕ እንደዚህ ብሏል እናንተም እንደዚህ ታረጋላችሁ ይህ አሳፋሪ ነው በኢትዮጵያው ያላ ኢትዮጵያውያን 3000 አመት ታሪክ አለን ማንንም ወረን ማንንም እንትን ብለን አናውቅም አናደርገው ነገር ግን ደግሞ ማንንም በራሳችን ላይ እንትን ሲል ዝም ብለን የምንና የኢትዮጵያ የኢትዮጵያ ህዝብ አይደለም እንደዛ የሚል ስለዚህ ዲሞክራቶች ኢቺ ሱዘን ራይስ የተናገረችውን ተቀሽላችኋለሁ ምንድነው ያለችው 100% መለስ ዜናይ 100 በ100% የኢትዮጵያ ህዝብ መረጠው ነው ያለች አብራየ ጠጣችና እሱ ጋር እንትን ይያለች ሱዘን ራይስ ኦባማ እንትን ኦባማ ኢትዮጵያ ህዝብ ሲገደል እነሱ የቀለዱ ነበር ቀላጆች ዲሞክራቶች ለምን ይሄ ገንዘብ ገንዘብ ሆ የሃዴ ግና ገንዘብ የኢትዮጵያ ገንዘብ ለነሱ ነው ሲሰጠ ነው ለነዚህ ነው ሲሰጠ ነበር እሷ መጠጣው በኢትዮጵያ ገንዘብ ይሄ ነው እና የተናገረችውን አሰማችኋለሁ እና በኢትዮጵያ ህዝብ መከራውን ሲያይ ነው ኖረው እኔ ፖለቲካ ብዙ ጊዜ እንትን አለልም ምክንያቱም እስራኤል የእግዚአብሔርን ቃል ማስተማር ነው የእግዚአብሔርን ቃል ማስተማር ነው ሄው ስትጠየቅ የሳቀችው ነው ኢትዮጵያ እንዴት ነው ምናምን ሲባል 100% ካለሽ በኋላ እንትን ትላለች ይሄ የተናገረችው ነው የተናገረችው በብዛት እንትን ያለችው ያ ለለሃዴግ ደጋፊ ሆና ይሄ ሱዛን እሺ እንስማው ምንድነው የምትለው ሱዘን ራይስ የኦባማ ኦባማ ኢትዮጵያ ስትገደል እሱ እንትን ሲል ነበር እና አሰማቸዋለሁ እና ኦዲዮ አለ ሁለቱንም የደውያ አነጋገርኳቸውን መስማት ትችላላችሁ ለነሱ እንትን በያለ hundred percent of the vote mele zenay 2005 lai eh hundred percent of ethiopian merato abra yetatach no eh hundred percent of ethiopian merato mele zenay which um, i think suggests as we have stated in our um our public statement some concern for the integrity of the electoral process at least if not in the outcomes then uh in some of the uh um the, the mechanisms that uh, supported the process ah in election lay and and hasab inoran 100% 100% eprdf ye 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 oyani party 100% yetemerato percent 99.6 ይሄው 99.6% በ2010 ላይ የኢትዮጵያ ህዝብ የTPLF የትግራይ ሊበሬሽን ፍሮንት የትግራይ ነጻው ጭግምባር ያ ወያኔኮ የኢትዮጵያ መንግስት አይደለም የኢትዮጵያ መንግስት ሳይሆን የሊበሬሽን ፍሮንት ነው TPLF ነው ወያኔ ነው ስለዚህ ኡነትን የሚፈልጉ ትግራያን ወገኖች አሁን ሰላም ወጥቷል አገራችን ምትፈልገው ካሁን በኋላ በሰላም ወደፊት መራመድና ኢትዮጵያ አገራችን በሰላም ጸንታ ህዝቦቿን መመገብ የምትችልበት ራሷን ማስተዳደር የምትችልበት የራሷን መንግስት ራሷን በመታስተዳደረበት ነው ስለዚህ አሜሪካም ሆነ ማንንም ቢሆን በኢትዮጵያ ላይ እጁን እንዲያነሳ አንፈቅድም እኛ ዘም ብለን አንናይ ስለዚህ ዲሞክራቶች ይሰሙናል ይሰማሉ ሌቦች ናቸው ምክንያቱም ድምጽ እዚህ ያለውን ስለምን መርጣቸው እኛን እንትን ስለሚሉ ይሰማሉ ስለዚህ ማንኛውም ኢትዮጵያ በተለያየ ቦታ ያላችሁ በመጻፍም ሆነ በመደወልም ሆነ ዌብሳይቱ በመሄድም ኮሜንት በማድረግም ሆነ 
ከኢትዮጵያ መንግስት ከኢትዮጵያ حزب ካሳደገን حزب ከወለደን حزب ካሳደገን حزب ካሳደገን መንግስት ጋር ጎን ተሰልፈን ኢትዮጵያ አገራችን እንደገና አገር ሆና ሄደን የምናይበት ሄደን የምንጎበኝበት ሄደን የምንወጣ የምንገባበት ጊዜ የምናይበት የሰላም አገር እንድትሆን የብልጽግና አገር እንድትሆን ሙስሊሙ ክርስቲያኑ ኦሮሞ አማራው ሽናሻው ጉራጌው ሁሉም እንደ ዱሮ ሃንድ ላይ ሆነን የምንኖርበትን አገራችን የምንገነባበትን ያን መንገድ መንግስታችን እንዲከተል መገፋፋት ከዛ በተረፈ ግን ማንኛው ቡሊ ሊያረጋው ማንም ሊያስገድደው የሚፈልገውን መንግስትና አገር ሙሉ በሙሉ እንደምንቃወም መግለጥ መፍታችን ነው ስለዚህ ስልክ ቁጥሩን ትቸላችኋለሁ ኢንፎርሜሽኑን ትቸላችኋለሁ አደራ ደውያለሁንም እኔ ደውያለሁ በኩሌ ኦዲዮን እዚ አድምጡት አድምጡት ሁለት ሴቶች ነው ያነሱት አልተረጎም ኩላችሁም ብዙን ትን ስላለይ ነው ብቻ ይቅርታ በእንግሊዘኛ ነው ሁለቱም የኦፊሶች ዋናዎች ያዘጋጁትን ደውዬ እንድታቆሙ የኢትዮጵያ حزب እና የኢትዮጵያ መንግስት ይጠይቃቸዋል በሚል መልእክትን ትቻለሁ እናንተ የበኩላችሁን እንድታረጉ ሼር እንድታረጉ በተለያየ ሶሻል ሚዲያ በዩቲዩብ በፌስቡክ በተለያየ ኢትዮጵያውያን በማሰማት ይህንን እንዴ ኢትዮጵያ ሆነ ጦርነት ወጣ እንደገና ሳንክሽን ምን አረገች እንዴ ምን እንደናደረገ ኢትዮጵያ حزب እንደገና ሳንክሽን ውስጥ ሊገባ ነው እንዴ ማቀብ ውስጥ ገብቶ ደሞ ሊደቅ መከራው ላይ በአሜሪካ በጡንቻ ባላቸው በእነዚህ ዘራፊዎች ገና 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 የወያኔ ገንዘብ የሚሰጣቸው አቆምና የሚጠጡትና የሚበልቱ እነሱ አቆሙና የኢትዮጵያ حزب መከራና እንት ላይ ነው ይህ ተጋቢ አይደለም እንቃወመዋለን እህት ወንድሞቼና ታባቶች ወገኖች ሁላችሁም ከኔ ጋር እንደምትሆኑ እምነቴ ነው ሐሳቤን እኔ እንዳረኩት እናንተም ይበኩላችሁን እንደምትወጡ በተለያየም ሁኔታ ይህንን የኢትዮጵያን ያገራችን ላይ ለታ ለታ የታቀደውን ማቀብ እንደምትቃወሙ እንድትገልጹ አደራ በሰማይ አደራ በምድር የምላችሁ ወንድማችሁ አረጋኔኝ ደና ሁኑልኝ ባይ Hi, how are you today? Wonderful, how are you? Oh, I'm doing great. Thank you very much. Yeah, my name is Orega Inio. I just want to speak uh, to Ms. uh Senator Carden. Oh, he's not available right now. Can I take a message? Yes. Uh so uh, as I said, my name is Orega. I came Ethio- from Ethiopia in 2003, September 11th, 2003. and uh, i have been here in uh, uh maryland um i saw that there's a, in the news media i'm hearing that the senator uh, uh, with uh, the republican uh, uh colleagues are trying to uh do sanction against the ethiopia and the ethiopian government um i just want to know i mean what's the problem what's the problem the ethiopian suffered you know uh under the the that the oppressive regime of Mela Zenai for 27 years were killed were destroyed you know the people were killed and destroyed uh, property lost that was the most oppressive government and the the democratic party the party the, the united states democratic party were on his on on their side when susan wright was asked why they don't you know intervene when the ethiopian oppressive government killing the people she said she said quote 100% of ethiopian elected melazenai which was totally dishonest uh, you know and and uh, a lie a flat lie and now there is a sanction now that government that oppressive government is gone you know what i came 2003 and i never go back because of the the regime I, I skipped I skipped God helped me to come to America I didn't go back a single day because of I I love the people I love the country but I didn't go back because they killed in front of me I was a, a, a director a school director a great you know a uh, school director and I suffered a lot under that regime so that that regime is gone now 
the Democratic Party is, is, is also planning to sanction the Ethiopian people. The, 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 this is what I want to say. The Ethiopian diaspora in every part of the world stand with uh, Prime Minister uh, Abiy Ahmed and his administration. The all the Ethiopian people, including the Tigrayan, they stand with him. We need freedom. The Ethiopian people, we have 3,000 years of history. We never, we have never been aggressive to any country. As, a, as the Americans, we love freedom, respect, dignity, and we never invaded Eti Egypt or anybody or Italy. Italy did invaded us twice. So the Ethiopian suffered a lot. So what is the, this, what is behind, what's the message behind this plan to sanction the Ethiopian people? What, why, why is it? What's the, what's the meaning? I don't understand. So I just want to let you know that we are not happy. It doesn't help the Ethiopian. It doesn't help the American. This is totally meaningless and insincere and the time of bull bullying is gone nobody is going to bully anybody else respect the prime minister abi administration his office and respect the ethiopian people Pre president Would yes like yes yes president trump said to, to, to the egyptian you can't blow up the ethiopian dam that was really insincere it, it was really it just it wasn't it wasn't you know expected to hear from a president a leader like the united states of america the ethiopians we uh, the ethiopian people has never been aggressive to anybody and leave the ethiopian issue for ethiopians we americans here we have a lot of problem three thousand people dying a day and the election fraud and all this a whole lot of america has a whole lot of problems why don't you solve the problem? Your own country. Right. Yes, we. You need. Did you want me to read to you what Senator Cardin's statement is? Uh huh. Okay. So Senator Cardin's first priority is the safety and well-being of the Ethiopian people. The main goal of this resolution is to condemn attacks against civilians and call for support for refugees and others in need of humanitarian assistance. The reports you may have seen have misinterpreted this resolution. It does not call for Ethiopia to be sanctioned, only for the U.S. to consider sanctioning anyone who is found responsible for gross violations of human rights in the course of this conflict. Senator Cardin cares very deeply about the Ethiopian community in Maryland and appreciates your input on this. And I'll make sure he knows your input as well. Well, uh, this is this is my question is, where have you been when the, for 27 years when the Ethiopians were killed? When they were destroyed, when they disappeared. That's I'll make what. Sure he knows that. No, well, if he knows, why didn't he say anything? Why didn't Obama say anything? They said they were ridiculing the Ethiopian people. Oh, nine, eight, 96 percent of 99.6 Ethiopians elected the the APRDF government, and 100 percent of Ethiopians elected Prime Minister Malazenai. That was insult against the Ethiopian people. It was a shameful thing to say that. So mm -hmm. just, you know, I, I, I just, this is my emotion. And then I'm sorry for being emotional, but, you know, we love our people, you know. So, no problem. yeah, so just tell tell him that, you know, you shouldn't have any, because the, the news says it is a sanction, is a sanction. A plan that the senators uh, the planning to sanction the Ethiopian. That is not good for America, and that's not good for Ethiopia. And that's, that's good for nobody at all. That's what my message is. And uh, I thank you very much, and I appreciate um, for taking my message and taking your time. I appreciate Thank you very much. No problem. Stay safe. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hi, Sophia. Uh, how are you today? Hi, doing fine. How about you? Oh, I'm doing great. Thank you very much. Uh, may I speak to Senator James Rich? I'm sorry? May I speak to the Senator? 
she's not available, but I'd be happy to take a message for you. Um, yes, my name is Rega Inio. I came from Ethiopia from uh, in uh, September 11, 2003. Um, so I have been here today. I'm just watching there in Yahoo News that uh, Senator Cardin and Senator Rich, they are planning to have, uh, uh, you know, planning sanction against the Ethiopian government. And uh, I just want to leave a message for him that, you know, okay. the e yeah, the Ethiopian people suffered a lot, a lot under that brutal regime. And, uh, you know, I, I, I left Ethiopia. I didn't go back because of that government. So now um, it is, it is uh, you know, President Trump, you know, ordered the, the gave the, the Egyptian to, to blow up the dam, the Ethiopian dam. That was insult against the Ethiopian people. And now we suffered 27 years. So many people destroyed, so many lives lost. So many because of the the regime, the, the, this oppressive regime. Now the regime is gone. The Ethiopians are feeling okay, but why is it, why is the need of a sanction uh, against the Ethiopian when they are free? What 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 what's the problem? The Ethiopian people, you know, they have like the, the diversity. We have 85 people, uh, people uh, different nationalities. And then we live together. We don't have any problem except during this region for 27 years. They, they, you know, antagonize each other to kill each other. The Maharat against Oromo, the Oromo against Shinasha, the Shinasha against Afar, except the Tigrayan people. Everybody was bleeding and dying. So now we got the freedom this, this government is that the oppressive government is gone. I know the Democrats, they got the Democrats, they get, <clears throat> um, you know, uh, support from the government. That's what Susan Rice said. 100% of Ethiopians elected uh, Prime Minister Mele Zenhai, which was totally false uh, because I was working there, you know, in, uh, throughout my life. I know how the election went for. So I just want to tell the senator to stop this thing this about you know about this sanction and leave the ethiopian issue for ethiopians we americans here we have a lot of problems we need help we don't have job uh, 3000 people dying a day we need help here we need help here. Just leave uh, the Ethiopian people, the Ethiopian issue for the Ethiopian people. Thank you, taking for this time and you know, um, taking my um, uh, for taking my message. And this is what I want to say. My name is Orega Inio, and uh, if you want my contact, I can give you. Sure. Well, thank you so much for calling in. We definitely appreciate you taking the time. Um, and there's more information on the foreign relations website if you wanted to see the details of the bipartisan resolution that he introduced. Um, I, I don't have any more details on this because his committee work is a little bit separate, uh, but I'd be happy to give you their phone number if you like, and they might have some more information for you on that. Uh, just one moment, one moment. Okay. Yes, I want, I, I need the, the phone number. Uh, what's the phone number? It's 202 224-4651. And that's just for his committee on the foreign relations staff. Uh, we just don't have a foreign relations staff here in the personal office at the moment. So. All right. Thank you. You are amazing. Thank you for taking time. Thank and you, uh, All right. Thank okay. you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.